everybody. Mike Saint Amour here um, today with my very first analysis from uh, coming back and then making my presence known once again. I am going to be analyzing oil, crude oil, which is WTI slash USD. Um, right now, currently, we're on the weekly chart. And we're going to just take a look here, and I'm just going to explain a few things. So first of all, we do have a, let's see here. So we do have our support line here, which has recently broken down. We do have our next support line, which has a, a very solid support line. You can see multiple times, one, two, three, four, five times it's been tested. It has not broken. Uh, we also have our resistance line here and our second resistance line here. So this is a nice uh, chart set up here. Um, let's go ahead and take a deeper look. So looking at our most current break, we can see it did break below our first resistance or support line there. Looking at the uh, RSI, MFI, stochastics, as well as the RVI, we can and even our um, guitar string moving averages here. We can definitely see this was a confirmed break, it looks like. Uh, however, we did stop at our second uh, support line, which is very common. Um, looking at it here, I'm just looking and I'm seeing some um, strength in that support here. So I, I do see some easing up on the RVI. The RSI and the MFI, I do see some strength on the downward motion still. But the stochastic, I, I do see it looks like it's on the end of its run here. So very likely uh, we're looking to go back up and stay within this parameter right here. Um, I'm, I'm thinking really kind of we're going to see in the coming days or even a couple of weeks here. We're, we're looking to see maybe 70... 75, 76, maybe 77 area. We're gonna we're gonna test this at resistance line here. I do believe that. Uh, however, as you know, in the past, I did uh, make it very clear that we react. We we don't predict, or I don't predict. I react. So, pending the break of the uh, support here, we would want to look for bearish positions and that would be uh, made on the shorter term when we don't trade off in this long weekly term this is just a guidance as to what direction and what trend we are in currently it's looking uh, we're still flat but we're aiming towards a, a more bearish trend here so <clears throat> I, I would stay away from this market for the moment some some more riskier traders might might look to get in on the uh, bullish market here and try to uh, capitalize on the movement from here up to the resistance. Again, I don't suggest it. I would more focus on maybe some uh, bearish trades here on the uh, resistance, this, the peaks and the breaks down. That's just a, a thought. We'll, we'll go ahead and we'll look at the uh, shorter term here. Let's go ahead and zoom out and get back to our most recent times. Zoom back in a little bit here. So looking at it here, we do see that break was uh, was a good clean breakdown. Uh, so on the shorter term, we can see a, a good a good over oversell of the RSI and the MFI, which is a good indication of downward momentum in a downward trend. You can see we're downward trend. We got that lower lows, lower highs. However, uh, so sorry, the stochastics also looks like it finished its upward motion for some reason here, but I don't believe it is. I, I do believe at least in this short term, we're going to see a good 71, 72. But again, I do think we might again see these uh, resistance lines up here so if we do see the resistance lines up there we might look for a break down when we will see some kind of uh, some kind of uh, support being made and then when that support is broken we would uh, trade on the downward on the breaks uh, at the peaks so overall i do think we're going to see a good 75 here about 75 coming in the next coming uh, week or two, maybe a couple of few weeks. It's hard to say. 
please keep in mind this is my first analysis for many years. So um, take this with a grain of salt. Make sure you cross-reference with your own analysis. I take no responsibility for gains or losses. This is just to help you with your own analysis. So again, my name is Mike St. Tamar. Please like and subscribe if you find this useful. And don't forget to share it as well. And thank you for your time. Have a great day.